All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 5 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, x to the power of 5 and 5, these two are interchangeable, meaning I can rewrite this. Well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And a to the power of m times n, th these two are interchangeable, so this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. Well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of m, and that's equal to a to the power of m times n, this means that a to the power of n times m, that should equal a to the power of n to the power of m. So x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5, I can switch the places of these two. And now this is going to equal x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. So from here, I'm going to rewrite 100 as 10 squared. So now I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 squared to the power of 5. And again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 5, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 5 equal to the variable y. So I get y to the power of y is equal to 10 to the power of 10. If I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 10. Now remember how we let x to the power of 5 equal to y. So this means that x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. And to solve this, I'm going to take the fifth root on both sides. The fifth root of x to the power of 5 is simply x. So I'm left with x is equal to fifth root of 10.